Welcome back to Face the Nation. We're asking the question, should the BJP apologize for the Babri Masjid demolition? Carry on with your voting and we'll carry on with our discussion. Manish Tiwari, Vinod Sharma was telling me in the break, the reason why the Congress is soft peddling uh, Babri is simply because you don't want to give the BJP an issue. If you really took punitive action, if you really, you know, put your secular money where your mouth is, the BJP would be on steroids. They'd become heroes if you took action. So therefore, you're soft peddling uh, your uh, Babri line. You're soft peddling it because you don't want Hindutva to rise again, which will happen if you take a if you take a hard line. Absolutely incorrect, Sagrika. We took action, as I pointed out, way back in 1993. And insofar as the Bharatiya Janata Party is concerned, they consigned themselves to the dustbin by their own track record between 1998 and 2004, so that there's nothing that we have to contribute uh, to their demise or to their but irrelevance. Wasn't the Congress, but let me, no, but uh, wasn't let the Congress me, playing soft let, Hindutva? Wasn't the Congress be, in, in the years before uh, Babri Masjid playing soft Hindutva, what about all the communal riots that were taking place in Uttar Pradesh? What about the manner in which Narsim Rao himself was supposed to be someone who was the, playing the, the Hindu card as well? So you didn't want to lose your Hindu vote either. So the Ram Janma Bhumi movement is not just about the BJP, it's also about the Congress and Congress's participation in it. The question is very clear that the Congress has defined its secularism over and over again as Sarv Dharm Sambhav. We believe in equal respect for all religions. I don't think there was a quibble about a temple coming up in Ayodhya. The quibble was that we will not allow the mosque to be demolished. And that was precisely the point which Mr. Rahul Gandhi made. He uh, very, very, very clearly articulated that in this country everybody is equal and if you are meritorious, irrespective of whether you, are, you belong to the majority or, the minor, or a minority, you can rise to the top job. And Dr. Manmohan Singh's becoming Prime Minister demonstrates that. The problem is the Bharti Janata Party believes that some are more equal than the others. Uh, Sagarika, you know, first of all, I must address I'm myself to... I'm astounded. I know. I'm astounded that Mr. Manish Tiwari is talking about all people being equal. In the Congress party, is Mr. Manish Tiwari uh, equal to uh, members of the Nehru Gandhi family? Can he ever aspire to be the Prime Minister, even of Prime Minister? Can he ever aspire to be anything of significance as long as the Nehru Gandhi family dominates everything? No, no, no. Sagarika, Sagarika, I think uh, Chandan is in a particularly Chandan is in a particularly bad mood today. You know, I've never never known him using the kind no, of word. I, think, I, think you are I know. Would, would you let me yeah, speak, you Chandan? Furious mood. Would you Would you let me speak now? Uh, Chandan, uh, you know, has never been unkind to me, and for the for the first time, perhaps he's called me a propagandist. Mm -hmm. I made a point that the that the general secretary of the Congress Party was was his was a proximity participation in the debate. Right. I made a serious political point because for the Congress, it is about giving Muslims a sense of belonging, a sense of ownership. It was a major major blow to the trust. That was there. So you think it was well thought out? Yeah, no, 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 let me finish. No, let me finish now. You see, it was. A, I made a serious political point, and he called okay. me. A, he called me a propagandist. I'm sorry. I mean, uh, I also made two other points, which could have uh -huh. perhaps, uh, uh, you know, embarrassed the Congress Party. That why did they feel Jagdambika, Jagdambika as Pal, you were saying, who was part of Kalyan Singh government? Uh, saying, he never took note of that. The irony is that the BJP is losing its ability. To add value to debate, Let me and put it's regrettable that, to that somebody as learned as Chandan Mitra, Mitra, who's been my editor in Hindustan Times, uh -huh. chooses to use these words.